This is Daria Shabbat with CorporateProfile.com reporting on the news for Wednesday, April 25th, 2012. The Wall Street Journal reports Apple's quarterly profit nearly doubled as iPhones and iPads continued to fly off the shelves, putting to rest recent worries that the company can't maintain its momentum. Shares gained more than 7% in after-hours trading yesterday after falling in 10 of the past 11 regular trading sessions amid concerns about a potential iPhone slowdown. Instead, iPhone shipments jumped 88% in the quarter as Apple continued to penetrate new markets like China. Bloomberg reports Boeing's first quarter profit beat analysts' estimates as the world's biggest aerospace company delivered more commercial jets while pushing production to record levels. Earnings rose 58 percent to $923 million. Boeing shipped 137 jetliners last quarter compared with 131 deliveries by rival Airbus as the plane maker moves to recapture the title of biggest commercial jet producer it had lost in 2003. Finally, Reuters reports there might be a solution to those of us who are tired of the wolf whistles and cat calls that seem to be the universal welcome for women passing construction sites. New York City is creating an app for that. City Council Speaker Christine Quinn said yesterday that $20,000 in city funding has been approved for development of a mobile phone application to fight sexual harassment on the streets and subways. It will be developed by the creators of HollabackNYC.com, a website that asks people to use camera phones to take a photo or video of their harasser and post it online. So all of you harassers out there, it may be time to switch over to silent appreciation. I'm Daria Shabbat with CorporateProfile.com reporting directly from Wall Street. Thank you for watching and please tune in again for more hot financial news.